It's Tuesday, February 5th, and your stories today are SIM swap crypto thief indicted, Venezuela's new rules, and Groundhog Day all year long. Why, well, hello world, you're watching the comment right here on Eat News. On Friday, February 1st, the Manhattan District Attorney's Office made an announcement that 20-year-old Ohio resident Dawson Bakies is being charged with stealing cryptocurrency holdings and identities of over 50 victims across the U.S. The thefts took place from October to December of 2018 via SIM swapping attacks. A SIM swap attack, also known as a SIM intercept attack, is a form of identity theft in which an attacker convinces a cell phone carrier into switching a victim's phone number to a new device in order to gain access to bank accounts, credit card numbers, and other sensitive information. The indictment lists 52 counts of identity theft, computer tampering, grand larceny, and scheme to defraud. District Attorney Cyrus R. Vance Jr. shared his concerns, stating, quote, we're also asking wireless carriers to wake up to the new reality that by quickly porting SIMs in order to ease new activations and provide speedy customer service, you are exposing unwitting, law-abiding customers to massive identity theft and fraud." Unquote. The Manhattan District Attorney's Office is encouraging victims, members of the hacking community, and wireless company employees who are aware of SIM swapping schemes to report them directly to the Cybercrime and Identity Theft Bureau. While the country of Venezuela is in turmoil over hyperinflation and a possible change of presidency, the country's Ministry of Popular Power for Communications and Information has decided to roll out a new regulatory framework. Last week, the regulator published the Constituent Decree on the Integral System of Crypto Assets that initiated a new regulatory framework in which businesses working with crypto assets will now have to register with Cinecrypt. Cinecrypt is currently the authority over crypto-related activities in the country. Cinecrypt has not yet established the regulation requirements and processes, but it will inform affected businesses as soon as it has. The MIPPCI does warn that those who do not register will face penalties equivalent to 100 to 300 petros, which is the country's national cryptocurrency. The Groundhog suite of crypto subscription tools was soft launch on Saturday, February 2nd, American Groundhog Day. CEO Scott Burke said that prior to Groundhog's launch, there was a big problem holding back the growth of crypto e-commerce. To make a subscription payment via Groundhog, an individual would choose the Pay with Groundhog option on a compatible merchant's checkout page, then sign the transaction using the Groundhog app or another crypto wallet. The first time a customer used the service would prompt the creation of a Groundhog wallet, which the individual could fund through a crypto or fiat transfer. The Groundhog team co-developed ERC-1337, a standard for recurring Ethereum-based subscription payments. Because of this, any ERC-1337 compatible wallet can initiate subscriptions with any ERC-1337 compatible payment gateway. And that is my comment for the day. It's time to tell me yours. Will hackers come forward if they see SIM swapping attacks take place? Is Sunacrib helping or hurting the people of Venezuela? And will the Groundhog Suite help the growth of crypto e-commerce? Let me know what you think. Find us on social media. Have a wonderful day. And as always, don't forget to leave a comment. Join me back here on the comment to hear my take on the day's top crypto and blockchain stories. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't already. Like this video and share it with your friends on social media. To make sure you get all the newest episodes, click on the alert button. That's that bell looking button by the word subscribe. Follow me on social media at, at ETHNewsy. That's at ETHNewsy. And I will see you next time.